Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and today I'm going to show you how to set up Alexa into your Todoist. Now this is actually quite straightforward but there are some limitations and what I want to do is to show you a quick way that you can get overcome that limitation so at least you're not going to miss anything that you may have added to your inbox via Alexa or using Echo, which is what I'm going to show you today. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. OK, let's go into Todoist and I'll show you how to get this set up. OK, so what we have right here is we have my Todoist. Now, as you'll see right here, I have my Alexa to-do list right up at the top. Now, that's just something that I'm going to get to in a moment. But the first thing we have to do if we're going to set Alexa up in your Todoist is you need to go to the Alexa app on your phone. So if we open up my 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 app here you can see that I have uh, I'm just going to all you need to do now is go into settings so we're going to go into settings and we're going to the settings button and go down to your lists when you click on that you will see a number of options for you now I have right here Todoist which is enabled so Todoist is enabled and once you've done that that's it there's nothing else to do if I tap on that it's not going to give me very many options. It's just going to tell me what I can do. So I can, as you can see in this particular example, it's saying start by saying add pick up kids tomorrow at 4 p.m. to my to-do list, add coffee to my shopping list, what's on my to-do list. Now that's the key here is to say to-do list and that's it. So once you've got that set up, that's done and now you're good to go. So what's going to happen is in your in your Todoist, you're going to get two lists. Now, unfortunately, there's no way you can assign these and they're just going to come in as projects right here. So what I've done is I've just moved them into my planning projects. I don't really need to see them. I think as I've mentioned many times before, all this area here, whether you're using a traditional task management by project or you're using the time sector system, all these are just holding pens anyway. So it doesn't really matter that I have them here. But the one that I need to keep an eye on is the to-do list because if I add something to my Alexa to-do list, I want to know about it. So what I did was I've added this as a favorite. So all I have to do uh, is it's already added as a favorite. As you can see, let's have a look. So you can just click on the side buttons there and I can add that to my favorites, which is right there. So now it's up at the top. And if I want to remove that, I can remove from favorites. When I go back down to my to-do list here, it now has the option to add to favorites, which I'm going to do. And now, as a project, it's always going to be at the top. It's going to be above my filters. Remember, the order of your favorites will go project, label, filters. So projects will come up at the top. Now, the reason I've done that is really quite simple. It's just because, as you can see here, you get numbers uh, of how many tasks you actually have in these these uh, projects or labels or filters so if I ever add anything to my Alexa to-do list I will see it right there now I want to show you how effective this is so just give me a minute you're going to hear my voice in the background but I don't want to hopefully this is not going <laughs> to set off your Alexas if you have it just one second Alexa add pick up my jeans to my to-do list so now I've added that in, sorry about that. And as you can see, very quickly, and I've not done any editing on this, very quickly that has now come in. Now it's added a label also Alexa, which is, okay, that gives you another option here because if you go into your filters and labels and you can, let's just click on this. I'm going to add that to my favorites. Let me just give you, so the label has come in here and it's given me the number. Now let me just give you another example of how this might work. Alexa, add broccoli to my shopping list. So hopefully, there you go. That's now come up 
here. So you have a couple of options the way that you want to set this up. Now, to be fair, I don't use my Alexa as my shopping list. I actually use reminders for that. But this has given me another option that I may need to use. The only trouble is I'm not usually adding things to my shopping list from my office, which is where my Alexa is. I'm usually adding it downstairs in the kitchen. So I tend to use reminders and I use Siri for that. But that just shows you how quick that is. And it gives you a couple of options of how you may want to use Alexa. I actually quite like adding the label. So I, what I can do now is I can go into my labels here. I can edit this label and I can change the color because charcoal isn't brilliant. So I'm going to add that as salmon. It seems to be my favorite color at the moment. So I'm going to add salmon and I'm going to remove this now from my favorites. That just means now that anything that I've added to Alexa is always going to show at the top there, whether it's whether it's a shopping list item or it's a to-do. And the great thing about that is I can now go in there and I can transfer this to reminders if I need to. And now with this one, I can move that to a project. Now, just remember, the only thing is, is now that I've got a label, I can't move it from there. As in, if I, was, if I go into the actual project here, I can now move that to wherever I want to move it. And the to to do list I can move up you know I can move that I'm going to do that next week I can drop it in like that so but this is really just to alert me that I've added something so I don't forget it it's right there in my view okay so hopefully that's given you some ideas of how to how to get to do is set up on your Alexa and how to use it so that it doesn't become overwhelming it doesn't become another list as I say Alexa's likely to unless you're using the app on your phone, it's a fixed place in a, your home or in your office. So it's actually probably something you can go, oh yeah, I must remember that. And you'll just add it. Whereas you can't really manipulate it as much unless like you can if you're on a mobile device. But hopefully that's given you some ideas about how to get the best out of Alexa. Maybe in the future we will have more options of what we can do within the app and we might be able to assign it to our inbox, which would be ideal. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.